Good morning, spring water and friends. I'm glad to be with you to give a few moments of prayer. As we enter into this day, and many of you have already been at it for many hours, and this is a little morning break for you, or if you listen in the evening and pray, may the grace and peace of the Lord meet you so powerfully. Today, the frame for our prayer is Psalm 102. The ending of it here, verses 24 through 28. These scriptures remind us that we are part of a larger story. The life of God has been long before you and I and will continue long after you and I. That is comforting to know in the midst of such a disruptive and uncertain time. Hear this from Psalm 102. So I said, do not take me away, my God, in the midst of my days. Your years go on through generations. In the beginning, you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. They will all wear out like a garment, like clothing, you will change them, and they will be discarded but you remain the same, and your years will never end. The children of your servants will live in your presence. Their descendants will be established before you. In the midst of a year that we all joke, but also meaning the truth of it, that we would love this year to end with all its complicated, painful, both revealings and then just crises upon crises. We can take hope and comfort in the God who is with us always and who anchors us deeply. Let us pray. Beloved Lord, you indeed are the one who has been faithful through all the generations. In the beginning, you laid the foundations of the earth. All that long before us. There is not a thing that grows, lives, has its being where you have not cultivated, nourished, created, helped it grow. Would you help us even in this moment see our beginning that came from you? To reflect on how you have nurtured us through the life that we've been given. As we look around us at the natural world, we see the beauty of the work of your hands. And we also know that it too is fleeting, but you will always remain the same. Your way, your years will never end. As we are in the middle point of whatever life is bringing us now, would you encourage and sustain us that you indeed are with us, leading and guiding and helping us to be people who can nourish all that is around us. Lord, we commit ourselves to you this day, resting in your hand, knowing that your provision and your care is with us always. For those we care about and love, we lift them to you. For those that frankly we don't care about and don't love, we lift them to you. Shape our hearts. You created them, you know them, you redeem them, you heal them. Make them a place of your life and your love. We pray this in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Blessing on your day, your night, however things bring you. See you tomorrow.